Well hello everyone, it's Julie here with our Thursday update. I was out and about late yesterday afternoon doing some deliveries, thinking about what I might share today um, as I was walking. And these little verses from 1 Thessalonians 5 popped into my mind. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Well, to be honest, I wasn't feeling particularly joyful or thankful at the time. I was a bit fragile and weary yesterday. But these verses have, um, on many occasions in the past, proved to be a real blessing to them. So I thought, OK, I'll run with them unless a better idea comes to me. Well, anyway, as I was out and about doing my deliveries, two down, one to go, it started to rain. Never mind, I thought I pressed on, I'm not going to melt in the rain, as one mum in church uh, used to say to her children. Uh, but five minutes later, it was absolutely tipping it down, the heavens opened, and I decided against turning up on the doorstep of my third visit looking like a drenched rat. Uh, drenched rat. So I turned back and started to walk for home, stepping my way through torrents of water as I did it. I was absolutely soaked. And I found myself thinking again about these three little verses and calling to mind the different things that I felt I was thankful for in that moment. The fact that I had thought to put on a coat just in case. That I knew I had a dry home to go to, different clothes to change into. The fact that I wasn't two hours drive away like my husband Chris who was fishing on the south coast, I wasn't far from home. And as I walked through the churchyard and the water was just gushing through the um, gutters, I found myself feeling very thankful for the gift of that new roof on our church building. When I got home, got changed, and I have to say, I found myself feeling better than I had all day. And I'm not sure it would have been so without the power of those words, God's secret wisdom to show the way. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now, that's not the same as saying that we need to give thanks for all circumstances. Tough things happen and it's hard, if not impossible, to be thankful for them. But we can always choose to give thanks in all circumstances, to choose to turn our eyes to Jesus and Think, call to mind things that we are thankful for about his goodness, his love and his provision. Three little verses, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. I commend them to you today. Look forward to seeing you if you can join us for a morning prayer at 9.30 tomorrow. I'm going to be leading that. And then on Sunday, we've got two opportunities to worship together, our 10.30 live stream, Sai's leading and I'm speaking, and 7.30, our evening worship, which Sam's leading and Sai's speaking at this week. It is, of course, our Heart of the Community gift day, so do be praying about that um, in advance to us gathering together and worshipping together on Sunday. Look forward to seeing you then, if not before. Have a good day.